Have you ever imagined the amount of despair that any creature feels when it has to eat itself? It's not always because of hunger. The unbearable natural conditions and the psychological pressure that the animal feels in captivity can sometimes be so much that it pushes it to eat the organs of its body. They also may eat parts of their body to protect themselves from the attacks of predators. In today's episode, I will talk about animals that deliberately eat themselves. But before we start, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Ancient civilizations such as the Greek, Egyptian, and Scandinavian civilizations show symbols of snakes coiled around themselves with their tails inside their mouths. In ancient legends, the snake that does this is called Ouroboros, which is a word meaning renewal, eternity, and continuity. But of course, when snakes eat themselves, this has nothing to do with immortality or renewal. Snakes usually swallow themselves by mistake when feeling hungry, thinking that their body is a potential prey that can be eaten or even because of the tightness of the place where the snakes are located. And they keep swallowing and eating their bodies until they choke and die. This poor raccoon is trapped and, yeah, he's eating himself. I know it sounds horrible and it looks ugly too. Some scientists said that this raccoon was eating itself because of hunger, and this behavior appeared here because there was nothing around it that could be eaten. Also, besides the trap, it's our natural instincts at fault here. When a wild animal is desperate to break free and stay alive, it becomes so determined that it's even willing to harm itself. In 2016, in China, they found a female bear caught in a trap. When they got closer, they were shocked. The female bear was gnawing on her own paw, the very one that had been caught in the trap. The bear may succeed and escape the trap. But at what cost? Don't worry, let's make it clear from the start. They helped the bear, rescued it, and provided the necessary care. Unfortunately, they had to amputate its paw. But the good news is the bear's still alive and will be living safely in a dedicated center from now on. Injurious self-biting is one of the most serious problems in primate colonies. Approximately 10% of captive monkeys suffer from the disturbing phenomenon of self-injurious behavior. Among rhesus macaque monkeys, the ones most commonly found in labs, self-biting may be as high as 14%. Can start doing it for all sorts of reasons. Sometimes it's out of boredom, but more often it's emotional distress. For example, if the cage was moved or separated from a partner, or there were some other changes that the animal had a hard time dealing with. Although cats are considered cute and gentle animals, however, the female cats may eat her placenta after giving birth. Placenta eating behavior happens with many mammals such as goats, camels, and mice. But what may shock you is that there are more than 4,000 species of animals that eat their placenta after birth. The secret in this is due to many reasons. The placenta contains large amounts of vitamins, amino acids, and nutrients. It also contains substances that have a pain-relieving effect for 40 minutes. And when scientists allowed laboratory mice to eat their placenta after giving birth, they discovered that this helps in producing abundant milk for breastfeeding. This lizard is called the armadillo girdled lizard. The armored lizard behaves like a snake in swallowing its tail, but she doesn't swallow her tail because of hunger. If the armored lizard senses any threat, it immediately puts its tail in its mouth and transforms into a ball, and its entire body turns into a round shape, surrounded by thick spines along its back and spine. These thorns make them completely protected from predators. Some types of lizards also, when they sense danger, immediately separate their tail from their body, just like geckos do. The skink lizard is considered the most famous reptile that does this. The length of this lizard does not exceed 15 cm, and in most cases, the length of its tail is longer than half the length of its body. This lizard separates its tail from its body if it feels hungry or in danger, and it eats it normally, and another tail will grow within three or four months. If small lizards can discard their tails and then not only live normally, but also grow them back, what about larger reptiles? Can a Komodo dragon pull off such a trick? Komodo dragons have been repeatedly seen biting off their own tails. This can happen when the tail becomes a liability. For example, when the lizard is attacked by a large predator like a crocodile, if a bone is damaged in the attack, the tail will get in the way. And it's easier to tear it off than to dress drag it around and risk getting infection. Perhaps after tearing off the tail, the Komodo dragon will even eat it so as not to waste precious nutrients. 
From the point of view of theory, the Komodo dragon actually won't be able to grow their tails when they're injured or severed, and it'll likely have a tough time competing with healthy Komodo dragons sporting their tails. That's all, guys, for today. Which of these animals would you like to see in person while eating their bodies? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your likes and comments encourage me to continue. Thanks for watching and see you later.